Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim, and this is Cash Kelly and EC Sports Report. So, Wednesday, we are a day away from Thursday Night Football on the NFL Network, a game I cannot watch because I don't get the NFL Network because my cable sucks. So, Minnesota Vikings and New Orleans Saints, rematch of the NFC Championship game. Who am I taking? These are our, the NFL picks, if I didn't say that. I will take none other than your Super Bowl champions, New Orleans Saints. No, I'm not one of those bandwagon people that just like, I don't know, why, why is everyone like hopping on the Saints bandwagon? Like, a team usually wins a title and they gain some fans, but for some reason everyone's saying who that nation. I just think it's funny because they clearly stole who that, who that nation from who day with the Bengals, and that, that's just funny to me. But I'll take the Saints game one um, I th over the Vikings. I think they have. Brett Favre figured out, and I think the Saints are very determined to get back, and I'm not sure they couldn't get back and win the Super Bowl. Really, I don't look at the Saints and think anything different is going to happen from last year. Drew Brees is back, the whole offense is intact still, and the defense is good enough to stay with this prolific offense. I like the Saints in this game. Um, I think Brett Favre's going to uh, miss his targets in Sidney Rice and a couple other guys. On to the Sunday games, a real thriller to start. Miami at Buffalo. You know, th th this isn't a good game, per se, but I, I think it's nice for the Dolphins to start out. This is Chad Henney's first game as th the man. He started last year, but that was because Chad Pennington had gotten hurt. Chad Henney starting. I think he will have a big game. I think Brandon Marshall will be a stud in this game, as he usually is. I like the Dolphins big in that one, because really, what do the Bills have besides running game? On to the second game, Detroit at Chicago. This is an interesting one. I think the Lions are making improvements, and I have heard a lot of people in Detroit say, for the first time in how many years we actually have something to look forward to. I think that's very true, but I still don't think they have anything resembling an offensive line. So I'll take the Bears, because I think Julius Peppers is going to have a field day. Um, I think Matt Ryan's going to, or not Matt Ryan, Matt Stafford will be looking up into the Soldier Field skyline a lot because he will be sacked a ton. And I think the Bears offense will do enough to win this game. Game 3, Indianapolis at Houston. This is a huge game. And this is really one I'm looking at and saying, wow, this is a great game. Um, I think I would pick the Houston Texans against any other team in the NFL. Whether that be the Saints, the Jets, any anyone. But I... I'm looking at the Colts right now, and I've heard how disgusted Peyton Manning still is with the fact that he threw that interception. I picked them to win the Super Bowl, and I'm sticking with that. I'm telling you guys, from week one on, Peyton Manning is going to be mad. He's going to be determined. He's going to be on a mission, and he's going to go get that Super Bowl because Peyton Manning is one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, and he is not going to have his last Super Bowl. And I mean, I'm not saying he could never get to the Super Bowl again, but... Hey, Tom Brady's last memory of a Super Bowl is probably laying on the ground to a Michael Strahan sack. He may never get back. So Peyton Manning knows he, what he has now. He will get back. He will win this year. He is determined. He needs to go get it this year because really he has as good a team, or a good a team to complement him as he could have. Game four, or wh whatever number this is, I can't count. Um. Denver at Jacksonville. That is a very interesting game because Denver really has been a mess this preseason. And I look at them and think, wow, they've traded all their stars since Josh McDaniels has been there. Yeah, I think he's a tremendous coach, but unless Tim Tebow magically took his three-year process and made it into a couple months and is a stud QB already, I am not going to go with them. I like Jacksonville in this game. Um... I think Jacksonville is a little under the radar. I'm not going to say they're going to be in the playoffs or win the Super Bowl or anything like that. But I don't think they're going to be as bad as they were last year. David Gard is a good game manager. Maurice Jones-Drew is one of the top backs in the NFL. I like the Jaguars in that game and a close one. Uh, next game, Cincinnati at New England. That should be a fun one. Um, I'm going to pick Cincinnati in this game. And I think New England will end up in the AFC title game much farther than Cincinnati. But I think it's going to take them some time. Um, they still do not have much of a secondary, and I think considering you're playing T.O. Ochocinco and all the other huge stars uh, playing wide receiver for the Bengals, it's not a good game not to have a good secondary. So 
I'm going to take the Bengals in this one. I think Carson Palmer could throw for as many as three or four touchdowns. I think Tom Brady's going to have a big game. He might be getting a new payday this week, but I think he's going to have a big game. And But uh, I'm not sure it's going to be enough. I think that defense is so young and improving. I think the Bengals take this one. Uh, game after that, Giants at Carolina. This is one near the end of the season last year that Carolina won like 40-something to nothing or something. It was out of hand. And the man throwing the ball in that game was none other than Matt Moore. And he is one of the guys I'm looking at this season. He is way under the radar. Matt Moore has the tools to be a great quarterback in the NFL. They drafted Jimmy Clausen. I can tell you this. I can guarantee you Jimmy Clausen, barring a Matt Moore injury, will never step on the field as the starter for the Carolina Panthers. Never. Matt Moore is going to take that spot this year. He's going to be their franchise quarterback. Matt Moore has a ton of talent. And looking at this game, I, I think Matt Moore has a lot to prove in this first game. I like them in a close game, maybe by a field goal. But I'll take them. I think they have a better running game with Jonathan Stewart and D'Angelo Williams than Brandon Jacobs. He has some questions. And uh, Ahmad Bradshaw for the Giants. Uh, next game after that, Atlanta at Pittsburgh. That is a good one because I would, I'm not as down on Pittsburgh as everyone else. I still pick them to win the division because I think Big Ben is going to come back and just mow. But Dennis Dixon getting the start. I think a lot of you guys forget how good Dennis Dixon could have been. He might have been a first-round pick if he did. He blew his knee out in his final year at Oregon, like two or three games left in the season. He very well could have won the Heisman Award. If he doesn't do that, that was that crazy year where everyone got upset. He was one of the highest guys in the totem pole right before he got knocked down and injured. So, Dennis Dixon has a ton of potential, but the Falcons are a more complete team right now. Uh, Michael Turner is going to have a good game. Matt Ryan should have a good game. Roddy White, all of the above. Jordan Babineau. All these guys. Um, I like the Falcons isn't in this one. I think it's going to take the Steelers. A bit of time to get adjusted, but I think when they do, they will be a solid team this season. Next game, Cleveland at Tampa Bay. This may be the worst game in the league, but I like the Browns in this one. Uh, I, they didn't do anything to encourage me this offseason. Uh, Jake DeLome, I believe, is going in as the starting quarterback, which doesn't thrill me. But I think looking at a change in scenery, he might start off well enough. He's He can't do any worse than how he left in Carolina. And I'm going to take Jake DeLome, say he will have a good enough game managing. Uh, they have a somewhat running game, and really the Buccaneers don't have much. They have a tight end, and Kellen Winslow, and uh, Josh Freeman's their quarterback. He has a lot of talent, but there's not a ton of offensive weapons there, and the Bucks are just a mess right now, and th the Browns are too, but I think the Browns have a direction at least, and I think Mo Mike Holmgren coming in there is going to change the culture of that team. Next game, Oakland at Tennessee. That is another interesting one. There there's a lot of interesting games this week. Not a ton I would bet on except Miami and Buffalo, but Oakland and Tennessee, uh, I don't even know where to pick in that one, honestly. Um, I think Oakland has made a ton of improvements. They really have. Bring in Jason Campbell. I think he should be successful there. Uh, Tennessee has a lot of questions. With I mean, honestly, I don't think Chris Johnson's going to run for 2,000 yards again. And you never know what you're going to get out of Vince Young. One day he wants to commit suicide. One day he's winning the national championship. Uh, obviously, the order there is a little messed up. But in the end... I don't know what to expect from Vince Young, but I'll still take the Titans in this one. The Raiders have been a bad team for since 2002, I think, the year was they played the Bucks in the Super Bowl. Both those teams have not been too hot since then. I'll take the Titans because I think they can run with Chris Johnson most of that game, and Vince Young can just do what he has to do to manage this game. I like the Titans in this one. Overall, with the Titans, there are a lot of there's a lot of questions with both of these teams. Uh, Green Bay at Philly, my Eagles. Um, I would love to sit here and pick them in this game, but there is no way. Aaron Rodgers is going to tear apart this secondary. It is one of the worst units in the NFL. It wasn't good last year. Then they traded uh, Sheldon Brown, who was a solid corner last year, to the Browns for basically a 
Gatorade cooler and got nothing. So I'm going to take them. The Eagles offensive line is a mess. Everyone's asking, do I think the Eagles are going to be good? And I say, no, I think they're like a 7-9 and team. They said, oh, so you think Vic's going to be playing by the end? First of all, Michael Vick is garbage. End of story there. You can say, oh, he's so good in Atlanta. No, he wasn't. He ran the ball and he was fun to watch. There's a difference. He's not now, nor has he ever been or ever will be a guy who can sit back and throw the ball. It's a passing league, and Michael Vick can't pass. So, no, I do not think that. I don't think Kevin Cobb will be the problem in this game. The Eagles offensive line is not in good shape, and I've heard a lot on sports radio around here that they think he's not even going to have enough time to throw the ball. To find Deshaun Jackson, Jeremy Macklin, Brent Sock, all these guys. So, the Packers are a team somewhat under the radar, but Aaron Rodgers is an absolute stud. Top five quarterback, my opinion, one of the most underrated players in the game. And people know he is and still rank him high, but I don't think they rank him high enough. Aaron Rodgers is going to have a great season this year. Watch out for the Packers. I think they win the NFC, and I think they win this game. Uh, Arizona at St. Louis. Kurt Warner's two best teams. Um, <laughs> Arizona's a mess. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and take the Rams in this game. I know it sounds silly, but Sam Bradford looked amazing in preseason. Um, Derek Anderson has a ton to prove. I think this is going to be an offensive showdown, but I think the Rams will pull out something like a 30 to 27 win. It will be a de- not when they say defense will struggle, this would be the opposite of the defense will be struggling. If that makes any sense. Next game San Francisco at Seattle. I'm going to take the Niners. I think everything there is going in the right direction, except they don't have a quarterback still, but Alex Smith is good enough to get the job done. The Seahawks bring in Pete Carroll, but they get rid of all their good players. And Matt Hasselbeck is done. I mean, he just needs to get out of the league. Uh, Dallas at Washington, the Sunday night game. I'll be listening to that one probably on 97.5, the Fanatic best radio station around. Uh, so... Dallas and Washington. Interesting game. McNabb starting. I can tell you McNabb isn't nearly as good as he is given credit for. Uh, Dallas. I I think they have a ton to prove. They look terrible in the preseason. But they were missing a lot of their weapons. And honestly, I don't think preseason means a ton to guys who have been in the NFL for a long time. I'm going to take Dallas in this game. So there's two Monday night games. Technically, I think like the Baltimore Jets game. Is at like 5 o'clock, so it's not even really Monday night. But I'm going to take Baltimore and uh, Baltimore playing the Jets. I'm going to take the Jets. Um, I'm not as high on the Jets as everyone else is, but I like what the Jets have to a level. I think they're going to stuff Ray Rice, and I think they're going to stuff the pass. Uh, and Rex Ryan, former coordinator with them, I think he knows all the tricks that offensive, ha- offensive unit has and what they're going to do. Final game, San Diego at Kansas City. San Diego is a finishing team. Kansas City has improved a ton. I'm going to take Kansas City in this one. That's another one where I'm going out on a limb. But I think Matt Castle is going to have a big game for them. Quite frankly, I think the Chargers defense is overrated. I mean, they got rid of Cromartie. And Sean Merriman is just a name at this point. He hasn't done anything in a while. Maybe it was the Roys that made him good. I don't know. But in the end... I think the Chiefs won that game. So those are your NFL picks for the week. I'm Tim. Follow me on Twitter, Cash Kelly NAC, Facebook, Cash Kelly NAC Sports Report. Uh, email me, Cash Kelly NAC at gmail.com. I'll see you guys later.